Hey guys! So, obviously, as you can see, I am not in front of the camera today. I can't believe that I'm doing this, but I am going to be showing you every lipstick, lip gloss, lip liner, lip product that I could find. Most of it does stay in one of these three containers, but I mean, I put, you know, whatever I need in my purse, I put whatever I need in my bag, I have some at like work. I basically just have them everywhere and I tried to collect everything to show you for this video. I have no idea how many items is here. I recently have done like two lipstick declutters and I never thought about making a video about them ever. I didn't even know that anybody would be like interested in that. And then I've been watching like Tati's, like all of her um, decluttering videos and Laura Lee did one and I'm just like, people like these videos. Like apparently I need to show what I'm like liking and going through and whatever and just what I have so Keep in mind, I've got rid of a lot. I might get rid of some more during this, um, who knows, but I'm just kinda gonna go through everything and show you what I got. So the first thing is actually from my dresser. This is a drawer in my dresser that I use for my everyday kind of lipstick stuff, which sounds ridiculous because when you look at it, look at how much shit is in here. I really need to go to Ikea. I'm trying to decide what I wanna have for my makeup setup, and that's why right now, this is the only thing that isn't in my like makeup area. Like this is, it's right beside it, but it's not where I house like all of my eyeshadows and all of my, you know, face palettes and all of that. It's all in something separate that I do keep like all of my makeup in. This is separate as well as my little Mac storage and then my lip liners and some of my liquid lipsticks. So this is kind of the only thing that's like extra and you're gonna see like dust. Of course there's dust because I don't clean out the inside of my dresser. Often. I do clean it, but not often. So let's just start by pulling out one of these. I do have them, well, they used to be separated um, with these guys, but as you can see, they're a little bit full. So this is a mix of high end and drugstore. It is just what I have. Let's just dump it out. And by the way, I did pick these up at the dollar store and I didn't take the tags off. What can you do? This is like a super cheap. 90s lip gloss from Ardeen, like it's, you know, it's just cheap, it's whatever. Don't really use it, but I still have it. Actually, you know what, we're getting rid of this. Very first thing, gone. These are my favorite lip glosses probably ever. I have done videos on these, not like just specifically these, but I've mentioned them tons. More specifically this one, the Melted Toffee, it is my absolute favorite. Right now they're in the middle of discontinuing these, like the specific line from CoverGirl's um, gondolas or whatever. Um, this one, no, sorry, this one is like literally gone. You can see it's crap. Anyways, love those. They will be staying with me. I have two of these guys from Essence. Yeah, sure, Essence. These guys I don't love, I don't really use. They can actually go. I had two of these, but maybe I got rid of one or maybe it's somewhere else in the drawer. This is the Vivid Hot Lacquer. This one is probably my favorite shade. I did have three and I think I got rid of the lighter nude and this in Unreal. It's pretty good, it's a little bit sticky, uh, but it's, it's pretty good. It's from Maybelline, I also didn't say that. Then I have two of these guys from Joe Fresh. These are pretty good. This one isn't even opened yet. So actually I have a, like another area that I put unopened stuff. But yeah, this one's pretty good. It has good color. It's not too sticky, so it's staying. I have two of these from NYX. They are the Intense Butter Glosses. I prefer probably this one. I don't know what the shade is. Cookie Butter. So I really like this one. This one's a little bit dark, but I'm keeping both of them anyways. Just kidding, I have three. There's the third. This is one of my all-time favorite lip glosses. This is from NYX. It's the Plump It Up Lip Plumper. It's pretty strong. It does work. I bought this one. I think it's in the shade Elizabeth. Yeah, and I went like literally the next day to buy another one. They were all gone. I've never seen them again. So if anybody knows what happened with these, tell me. Let me know. I also have this from NYX. This is the Strictly Vinyl. I just did a video testing this out. It's in the shade Sugar Mama. Then I have two from MAC. This one is from the Mariah Carey collection. 
It's in Dream Lover. It's kind of sticky, but the girl at my Mac, she had like done a look on me with one of the lipsticks and this, and I was just like, oh, I have to have it. Like, please tell me what that is. And then this, I mean, I think I had watched a video right before I saw this, and someone had used a blue lip gloss, and they were like, look at how white my teeth are. And I was like, yeah, look at how white your teeth are. So I, I don't know. One from Essence here. This is the Volume on Plumping Lip Gloss. I feel like this has a weird smell. It's kind of minty actually. Um, I feel like this works pretty good. It's like a tad bit sticky. It's not too, too bad though. And this was like three bucks. Like what can you say? I'm actually gonna keep it. It's not too bad. Same with this one. It's not great, but it's a pretty good color. It's pretty pigmented for lip gloss and it's definitely not sticky. Like it's more of like a gel consistency. This one's from LA Colors. It's the High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss. It's pretty good. Like it's like really pigmented. I would recommend this. This is like three bucks. Again, what can, like what can you complain about for three bucks? Like it's worth a try, right? So then I have this one from Flower Beauty, which I love, I love, love, love. I bought this when we still had Flower Beauty in our Walmarts in Canada. This one is in the shade Nude Nectar, and it's just beautiful. I would highly recommend this to anybody. If you see this, grab it, girl. This I hate, we're getting rid of it. It's a Huda Beauty um, lip strobe. It's just sticky, it's gross, I don't like it. The price of it, I think, is too much, whatever. This is another lip plumper. This is from Victoria's Secret. It's not my favorite, it's pretty strong. This one is just in a super light color, um, and it's in like a squeezy tube, not my favorite. I'm gonna keep it though because I really like lip plumpers. I just recently made a video about this guy and this is from Glam Glow. This is the Plump Rageous. I don't remember what shade it's in. It's pretty good, it's very strong. If you are not an experienced lip plump user, um, I would say probably don't go for this one first. It's very intense. My last like gloss is this guy. It's from Maybelline. It's the color Jolt in the color Strip Down and I love this. It's, it's just perfect. Formula is really good. The color of this one is superb. It's just one of my favorites. I will not be getting rid of this until it's gone. Next up is either liquid lipsticks or things that kind of like resemble a liquid lipstick. <laughs> Dump it out. We'll point out the NYX things first. So we'll kind of go by brand. This one is the NYX Liquid Suede in... I think it's Sandstorm, yeah. This is a great nude, it's a great color. This formula is pretty decent. It's not my favorite at all, but it's good enough, I'm gonna keep it. Next up is probably one of my all-time favorite things from NYX, like at all, and I actually have two of them. One of them is old, this one is old, it's no good. It's going away. It's the Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Abu Dhabi, and it is seriously the best. It's just so good. I love the formula on um, the soft matte lip creams, but this color in particular is my absolute favorite. Last but not least from NYX is the Powder Puff Lippy. I hated this. I can't, like I did a whole video on this and I'll link that down below, um, but this was just not one of my favorite things and after I wore it a couple more times, like 100%, you gotta go. I have two Huda Beauty Liquid Matte um, lip colors. I have the gray one, which is Silver Fox, and then I have kind of a more nude one in Trendsetter. It's a little bit orange. These aren't my favorites, but I'm not going to be getting rid of them. I do like them fine. I'm glad that they're only minis though because I would never go through a whole one. Then I have three lip colors from Ciate. These are the Liquid Velvet, and I actually really like these. The formula on these is really good. Everything about them is really good. This color is fantastic, this red one here. It's in the color Starlet, and it's just, oh, it's so good. So I really like these. These are definitely staying with me. For one of Stila's launches for, wow, I just did that. Um, for like holiday packaging launch, not packaging, holiday collection stuff, they had a little mini set of liquid lipsticks and I bought it and slowly I've gotten rid of every color except for this one. This is in Patina, yeah, Patina. It's a pretty kind of pink nude color. I don't usually go for pink, so if I like this one, you know it's a good pink, so I'm gonna be keeping that. I, again, also had a whole bunch of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte liquid lipsticks, and this is the only one that I've ended up keeping, so that says something about it, I guess, in terms of being like a good nude color. So this one is in Milk and Cookies, and it's kind of more like a grayish nude, but it's really good. I really recommend this one. It's a nice formula. 
And speaking of L'Oreal, I have all of these. Now, these, I tried, I think, the navy one first, and I was super pumped about it. I really liked it. These two are both kind of more like jellies, and actually so are these, but they're metallic. So these guys I'm keeping, the pigmentation on them is crazy, like it's fantastic. And this one is one of the matte versions, and this one is in Festival, this one is great. I'm also keeping this. These guys, they work really well, they have good pigmentation, but they're just not something I'm gonna reach for, and I don't really know why I bought them other than for video purposes, so they're gonna go. This guy is just too old to keep. I don't know when the heck I would have got this, like a very, very, very long time ago before I had any sort of makeup collection. This is the Super, I think it's from Maybelline? Yeah, Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Color. These are like the old version of liquid lipstick. You apply this guy, then you apply this over the top of it. Um, it worked back in the day, but it is time for this to go. This is kind of like a cream liquid lipstick, like the NYX um, Soft soft matte lip cream this one is from buxom and it is what the heck are you yeah it's called like wildly whipped i don't know what the heck this color is though oh centerfold Ooh, centerfold anyways this is a really good formula this is just kind of like a deluxe like sample size i can't remember if i got it for like a hundred point perk or something like that but anyways this guy is really good highly recommend that formula and i have had a ton of these so these are the sephora cream lip stain and these are really good. These are a very comfortable way to wear like a liquid lipstick without it being like, like it's more of like, again, a cream kind of um, consistency. This one was from the Minnie Mouse collection and I just, I love the color. And the other ones I've gotten rid of only purely just because I wasn't wearing them and I just sold them off or I gave them away to a friend. So this guy's the only one that I've kept, but this formula is really good. It was nothing against the formula. I just have too many lip colors. One of my favorites um, for one of the last is definitely Fenty Beauty's Stenna. And this is so beautiful. This I would recommend for anyone. It is kind of expensive, like it's like 30 some dollars, but I mean, that's pretty, that's kind of unfortunately pretty average for us nowadays with our lip colors. But this guy is so good. It would look good on everybody. I think I already said that, but this is just so good. So this is staying with me. Last but not least for this bin is the Healthy Lip from Physicians Formula. This is a velvet consistency and this is in Nutritious. It's just like a darker kind of like reddish nude and this guy I actually really like. It wears well, it makes me happy, it's staying. So last but not least for the bigger containers, is like lip crayon kind of dealios. These two from NARS, these are both in Cruella and these are both beautiful. I will never get rid of these until the second that I can't have them anymore. I have this from Hard Candy. It's all matte up hydrating lip stain and this one is so good. I believe it's called Sticks and Stones. It's kind of like a purpley mauve kind of perfect color. I love this so much. I have a couple of things from Bite. I have two of the same lip color in Glacé. It's actually very similar to the one that I just swatched from Hard Candy, except a little bit darker. Formula is very much the same. I had it in one like this size. Then my boyfriend bought me this one for Christmas. Then this one came out in the birthday set. So now I have both of these. <laughs> then I also have two more from Bite. This one is in Gave, and this one is also in Glacé. This was my first one that I had that I was talking about and this is all that's left of it. So really it can go. So this guy is from Nude Stick and this is the Lip and Cheek Pencil in Whisper. This guy is really good. I enjoy how big the kind of like, like applicator is, like how it's like chubby. It's not like really tiny, like it doesn't look like it's a lip liner. This guy is really good. I will be keeping this. This I just bought. This is from Victoria's Secret and it is a gloss balm. I was kind of hoping that with the color of this being kind of a little bit darker, that this was going to be balmy, but a little bit more opaque. It's not, it is just glossy. There's like no color to it. Um, you can't even barely see it. Anyways, I paid like four bucks for it. So since it's brand new, I'm gonna be keeping it. We're gonna try it out. And then this is very similar to that. So this is from Flower Beauty and this is the Lip Suede. It's a Velvet Lip Chubby and it's in Barry Moore. Haha, <laughs> Drew, Barry Moore. And it just wears away really naturally, really nicely. So I'm going to be keeping that. Then I have this, which is actually from Forever 21's um, line Love and Beauty. 
and I kind of just bought this as like a joke or like whatever, but this is actually so pigmented. It's the one that I just swatched right there and it wears pretty well and I paid like $2 for it and I'm keeping this. This is from L'Oreal. It's the Lilac in, what are you called? Lacquerized, sexy. And it's just kind of like a shiny red kind of crayon dealio. And this guy I'm going to be keeping. It's just unique. I don't really have anything else like it in my collection. Then I have this from Maybelline. It is the Color Drama by Color Show. I don't know. It's a velvet lip crayon. This is in the shade 630. And again, it's just kind of like a bigger, chubbier um, pencil. Really easy to go on your lips. Stays really well. Wears really well. So this guy is staying as well. I have like my really inexpensive lip colors. So I have two from LA Girl. I have a nude and a gray, and these guys are actually pretty good and I am going to be keeping those. Then I have one like super old school wet n wild and it's kind of just like a brown reddish color. It's pretty old, so you know what? We're actually gonna get rid of that. This guy, I believe, is also one of the older ones. It's in one of like the second oldest packaging. That's like the oldest, and this is like the second oldest. Should we get rid of this? I don't know, I remember this being a really good color. Oh, girl, that pigmentation. Like, you cannot argue with Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild is God. So you know what? We're keeping the Wet n Wild. And I have two more Wet n Wilds, and these ones are actually like not even that old, so these guys are gonna stay as well. This one is 915, this one is 916. Then I have two colors from LA Girl. I don't know what the heck I'm thinking with this dark berry. This doesn't look like me. Oh, it's so pink. Girl, you going. This one is in True Love. <laughs> this one is in Beloved, and this one I could get behind a little bit more. Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, we'll keep that guy. That guy is real dark. We're done with that one. Then I have one of like my little minis and I'm going to be keeping all of these. I know that, but we'll go through them really quickly. This guy I got in a lip set, like one of Sephora's like favorites or whatever. And then at Christmas time, I actually bought the four pack of these guys from Tarte. I really love this formula. I have a bigger... Where the heck is it? I have a bigger one of this one. So this is Rum Punch. I have the bigger size of it and it is like my absolute favorite lip color. I have used so much of it. This is all that's left. I love this lip color. So all of those bad boys, they stay in. This little mini from Bite. This was in the birthday or yeah, the birthday set and it's in Chi Chai Chai. So I'm going to be keeping that. I really want to try it out. Then I have this one from Bite when they came out with their dual ended lip situations that were like $16. This one was the nude one and I feel like I could still get more use out of that so I'm gonna be keeping that. This I also got in one of the little mini lip sets and I love this lipstick. This is from Laura Mercier and it's in Milky Way and it is just stunning. It's like the perfect kind of nude for me. It's like not too brown. It's a little bit grayish, but it is just perfect. And we are keeping that. Also have this guy from Hourglass and this was a hundred point perk. I'm like sure of it. And this is it down here. It's very creamy, very soft. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's in Peacemaker and we are keeping it. So we are going to move on to this guy. I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of absolutely anything in here. This is all of my MAC bullet lipsticks and Jeffree Star miscellaneous lipsticks. I have MAC Digging It, MAC Up The Amp, MAC In Amaros, MAC Blankety. This is my favorite MAC lipstick. This is all I have left of this one. This is in Fast Play. Another one of my favorites from MAC is Stone. It's a like true gray from MAC. This is Ring My Bell, which I have literally never used. This is Faux, another one of my favorites. This is probably my second most used lipstick. I have Viva Glam One. I love this lipstick. I actually purchased this and this after owning this guy. And this is from one of the holiday collections. So that was one. This is Viva Glam 2. Shy Girl, I love this color. I think this is actually from the permanent collection, but it's in limited edition packaging. This one is from the Star Trek. 
um, collection and this is LLAP Live Long and Prosper. This is from the Patrick Star very first collection. This is the Mama Star. This is from the Mariah Carey collection. I mean, can we just have a moment for how beautiful this is? So beautiful and it has the little butterfly in it. This one is in McIzzle. This is from the Charlotte Olympia collaboration. Beautiful, beautiful brick red. Don't ask me what the hell I was thinking when I got this one. I mean, there was a point and it was right, bleh. there was a point and it was right around when this collection came out, the Trolls collection, that I just wanted every limited edition packaging. So this one is in Midnight Troll. It is from one of their, um, what am I trying to say? Summer collections. This one is in Hot Chocolate. This one is from their, I don't know how to pronounce this collection. I think it was a collaboration with a designer. Um, but yeah, there was a ton of different colors and I ended up getting the red one. This is from another summer collection. This is Morin. And this one is from the Cinderella collection. I've contemplated getting rid of this a ton of times. It's not like overly pigmented, but it, it does something. And I just love the packaging. It's so like romantic and perfect. So this guy stays every MAC lipstick stays. These are the three that I have there, his liquid lipsticks. Um, I have I'm Nude, which is the very, or sorry, Celebrity Skin, which is the very first lip color I ever got from him. And now the consistency is like weird. It's, you know, like three years old or some shit like that. I also have I'm Shook from his collaboration, his collaboration with Manny. And then I have, what is this? Hunty, which is my newest one. And I really like it as well. Two of his lip ammunitions. This one is in the shade Allegedly. This is a beautiful kind of like dark nude. This is a Birkin suede and this color is stunning. Sometimes I have to like line my lips and kind of like make my lips more prominent because it can look a little concealer-y but it's worth it. I also love both of those. So they're all staying. <laughs> No compromise there. So next we have this guy. This houses my ColourPop lippies, Kat Von D lippies, and both sets of my lip liners. These are high end, these are drugstore. I just like to have them separated because it's easier to look through, not because I care like one way or the other. I have quite a few from MAC. MAC, 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 MAC. So from MAC I have Whirl, a classic, a good one. We all love Whirl. I also have Cultured. I love this one as well. This is a really, really good nude. Um, and then I have Etc. another really good nude. Love that as well. This is the other thing. Look at this. Like, no girl, no. But this is the other item that I have from the uh, Mariah Carey collection. This came with that little set that I was talking about with the Laura Mercier and this is from Marc Jacobs and it is a lip liner and this lip liner is like one of my favorites. I need to buy this in full size. It's right there. It's just so good. It's so freaking good. Two from Huda Beauty. I have the one that matches my mini trendsetter and the one that matches my mini silver fox. Then I have this one from Makeup Forever and I've had this for quite some time. I think since 50, 50 Shades of Grey came out. It's right there. Um, but you can like sharpen this down and there's no reason that I need to get rid of one of my nude lip liners. I love them. So first off, I have this one from Avon. It's just clear. I ordered it a very long time ago. It does okay, but we don't need to keep this. It can go. Recently bought this one from LA Color. It's in nude and I'm not going to be getting rid of this because I just purchased it. So it goes back in. I have multiples of some of the Essence ones because they're so good and I like to have them in different places. So this is in the nude. Everyone recommends this. Everyone thinks this is fantastic. They're both going back in. But these are my next doubles. So these are both soft mauve. These are also going back in. Love these. And my other three from Essence are Wish Me a Rose, which is the pink in the middle. I have Soft Berry at the bottom and Red Blush. All three of these are also staying. They're all great. This one is from Wet n Wild and for some reason I decided that I needed a like sort of pink lip liner. I have no idea why. I hardly ever wear pinks like, but it's not that old. I'm going to be keeping this. And I do have three from NYX. These don't get used very often. This one is in Hot Cocoa. 
I feel like we could actually probably get rid of this. It's like so, yeah, we can get rid of this. Like, get out of here. Then I have this one in deep red. I am gonna be keeping this just because I don't really have many red lip liners. And last but not least, I have this one in never, which is kind of like a grayish color. And we're gonna be keeping this because I really like this one. So now my Kat Von D liquid lippies. This one is pretty new. This is in Ludwig and we're gonna be keeping it. It was in, again, one of those little Sephora uh, mini lip kits. And I have Lovesick Lolita. I also have Double Dare and Aisha, and I am going to be keeping all of these. I paid like the $30 price point for every one of these, and I actually really love all of them, even the pink color. This is one of the only pink colors that I own in my whole collection. So we're gonna be keeping those. And then last but not least for these guys, I have all my ColourPop liquid lippies. Now, these do consist of the matte and the creams. Okay, so from what I can actually see on the packaging, even though it's almost see-through, these are all of my ultra satins and this is my only ultra matte. So my only ultra matte that I still have is She, and I do really like this color. I don't love their ultra matte formula, but I do like this color, so this will be going back in. Then for the Ultra Satins, I have BAM, which is from the Laura Lee No Kill LA collab. I have Tulips, Frickin' Frack, 951, which is from I Love Sarah's, you know. Um, then I also have Mess Around and Magic Wand. So my oldest ones would probably be Mess Around and Magic Wand. I would probably actually order Magic Wand again, but it is getting really old, so we're actually gonna get rid of both of those guys. And I think I'm also gonna get rid of BAM just because I've like barely wore it and I did my donation, you know, I wanted to purchase a couple things from this. I did. We can get rid of it now. We can pass it on to someone who will actually use it. But the other three are gonna be going back in my collection. I usually have my little samples up on the side here, but I've just kind of like shuffled them around. Um, I have this one from Dior. It's obviously a lipstick sample, haven't used it. I have this one from Makeup Forever. It's dusty, haven't used it. I have this one from Bare Minerals haven't used it. These things are hard to use, because what are you supposed to do? Bring the sample around with you as you wear the lipstick throughout the day? Who knows, you know what I mean? Then I have this one from MAC, which I kind of am like a really big fan of, because they give you like a, the scent on one side and the lipstick on the other, but this is like really old. So I think it's pretty safe to say we can just get rid of all of these. So then, the only things that I have left are my bullet lipsticks on this side, and then I have a couple of new things here, and I have a couple of lip balms here. Favorite lip balms, definitely one is Nivea Hydro Care. I have two of them, I love them, they're fantastic. They're staying. Then I have this from Corez. This is the Jasmine Lip Butter. I love this stuff, I use it all the time. Love, 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 smells so good, feels good. Then I have this one from Skin Fix. This is Canadian. Um, the whole wrapper has completely come off. Obviously, I use it a ton. It's even like hard to get into. I've literally had to use my teeth to get into it. Yes, that's embarrassing. Alana, go buy a new one. But I have this one, which is brand new from Pink, and I just bought this the other day because it was $1.99, and I was like, why not? This is the Amaze Bomb, and it's in Vanilla Mint. Hopefully this smells good, hopefully it moisturizes. My new things that are on the side, I have another one of the Hourglass Peacemakers. So that was my little tiny lipstick that I have right over here that I got for the 100 point perk. This I was trying to show you earlier, but I, it is brand new, so I put it off to the side. This is from Jo Fresh. It's lip gloss, and it's in Nude Glaze. Then I have this guy from Lime Crime that I bought when they had that whole thing going on where they were accidentally giving these away for just shipping cost. I do have one, it is the iridescent top coat, not top coat, lip topper. And then last but not least, I have this blue liquid cap suit from Wet n Wild, and I did also get the black one of this. I think it was for Halloween last year. But at the time, I think these were like 30% off and I was just like, why the heck not try it and why not have a blue liquid lipstick? I do have some perfumes along the side. I don't need to show those. They're just like my small roller balls that I just have nowhere else to push. First thing down here is actually from Sephora and I bought four of these when they were getting rid of them, which was probably like two years ago. This is the Ultimate Oil and Gel Lipstick Remover. At the time, I wasn't really wearing liquid lipsticks, but this is literally what you need unless you use like straight coconut oil. So I still have a brand new one of these somewhere, so this guy we can actually get rid of. I'm probably not gonna get rid of any just because I've been through them pretty recently. 
my friend bought me this. It's one of like the last um, Lime Crime purpley, you know, this packaging with like the unicorn heads. They were, well, they said they were getting rid of it. I don't know that they ever actually have. And she gave me a great pink planet. I also have this from Essence and this is just so pigmented. Like, obviously this isn't a color that I wear all the time. I'm not afraid of colorful lipsticks, but I've kind of just like grown out of that. I just love like a nude lip or like a red lip. But I am keeping this because it's really, really good. It's part of their matte, matte, matte lipsticks. And this one is in the shade No to Mainstream. That makes sense. So then I do have these three, which I've talked about pretty recently. I know that these are old, but they're new to me. Like they're new to being opened. And I love these. I'm not going to be getting rid of these. In fact, if I could find another one in 700, I would be picking it up. It's like my favorite lipstick right now. They are like a moisturizing lipstick, but they still have quite a bit of color to them and they're from Rimmel and I just love them. They're just fantastic. I bought them for like four bucks. They're really, really good. I'm going to be keeping all of these. So I do have two regular lipsticks from Flower. I have Set Me Freesia and Tea Rose. So these are both obviously nude colors, both really, really beautiful. This one is completely broken, so we're gonna get rid of that just purely because it's totally freaking broken, which is too bad because I love the formula on these. They're just like super comfortable. The color is great, pigmentation is great, but we will keep, set me freesia? Yeah, we'll keep this guy. This is one of like my favorite lipsticks. We will definitely not be getting rid of this. This was from Tati's recommendation. I love Tati. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche in Varnished Rosewood, and this is just so beautiful. Look at that. Pigmentation, awesome. It's kind of balmy, like it's very moisturizing, but the color's there. It looks really good. It looks like you tried, even though you just barely put this on your lips. Keeping. I'm not even really sure why the heck I picked up. I have nothing else, literally, from Marcel. This is the Rouge Expressions, and this is 755 Buff Nude. It's a good color. I've hardly used it. You know what? Maybe we'll keep it. We'll give it another like moment. I have two of these color whispers are from Maybelline. I have one that's kind of like a lilac color, which you would never think that I would wear, but it's actually a way more flattering than like you can probably imagine. I think it's funny how I'm like swatching everything now. So yeah, that's both of these guys. I think that we can probably get rid of the lilac color because I like never freaking wear it. So sorry, sir, bye to you. You've been this guy from Bite. Um, it's in Brochet and it's actually the multi sticks. You can use it on like your cheek or you could use it, you know, wherever you, wherever you want to, but I do have it in my lipstick drawer. It's a typical me color. It's, you know, it's dark, it's a nude, it's great. We're keeping it. It was like $28, we're keeping it. I do have one lipstick story. This is from Sephora and the packaging is just like not that great. Color's great, pigmentation is great. This one is in the shade Love Love. So it is right here. It's definitely a little grayish, has a little bit more gray in it than just being like a nude kind of brown color. I am keeping this, it's a good value and the color is really, really good. The packaging's just stupid. Like you can literally pop this out. I do have this guy from Milani. This is just matte naked. This is one of their everyday lipsticks that are in a bullet. I am keeping this. I really like this color. These are some of like their best lipsticks. So I think these are just like color, sensational color or something or other. This one is in the shade Lust for, Lust for Blush. And it's a little bit more pinky, so I don't have very much of this kind of color in my collection, so this guy is staying as well. I don't know where this, like what collection this was from or like who this was made for, but this is from L'Oreal. It says Aishwara, Aishwara? I don't know. Anyways, her beige, and it's this color, and I've used it so, so much. It's like a little bit dark, I love this color. It's old, but I can't get rid of it. And I have this guy, which is also really old, but I'm also not getting rid of. This is from Rimmel. This was one of like my very first, like not tame lipstick. So it's right here. It's Bordeaux. Yeah, Bordeaux, 124. And this packaging is so old, but I just, I used this to death and I love this color and I think we just gotta keep it for right now. A Little bit nostalgia on those last two. Then I have this guy, which is also from Rimmel, and this is Look Who's Talking, number 750. This is one of their kind of newer, newer collections. They didn't always have this 
this packaging. So this guy's pretty dark. It's a little bit more rusty. This one's more berry. This one's more rust. And this one's a little bit more matte. That one's a little bit more glossy. This one I do really like. It has an awful kind of like fruity smell on it. I hate it. For that reason, it's going. Then I have this guy, which is from NYX. This is Talia, and this is just like a regular kind of nudie color. I have hardly worn this. This looks so super similar to this color, but I do really like it. I'm actually going to be keeping this. And last but not least in this drawer is from Essence. This is one of their just regular matte lipsticks. This one was the matte, 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 but this one is just regular matte, and it's a nude color. It has great pigmentation. It's right along the top there. Yeah, right there. Has great pigmentation, great coloring, and we are going to be keeping that as well. All right, guys, everything is back where it's supposed to be. We're looking a little bit less crazy in here, a little bit less like dense. Everything is a little bit more flat and a little bit more organized. So I hope that you enjoyed me going through this. This took forever to film. I'm not looking forward to editing it. I already know what's in here, but I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Let me know if there's any other kind of like decluttering or just going through my makeup collection that you want to see. I have a ton of lipsticks here, way more than like I even thought. And sometimes I feel like I never have enough, but then I like look at all of this and I'm like, what the hell are you thinking? You have a ton, girlfriend. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like it if you like these sort of videos and subscribe because I'm doing my best, putting out the content, doing the new stuff. Hope you enjoy it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.